Once your field IQ implement has been created, the next step that you need to do is calibrate the drive. This is calibrating the performance of the drive to achieve and maintain target rates. This is not the calibration of the flow of material, so it is important that the location, if it is a granular fertiliser or seed, is empty, or if it is a liquid location, that the location be filled with water only, as this process requires the drive to run while stationary to learn the valve behaviour. Before the calibration can be performed, you will also need to make sure that a material is created and assigned to the appropriate channel. Refer to the material assignment videos for this process. To begin the calibration process, select the appropriate implement and press calibrate. The calibration summary will provide you a summary of all devices and sensors applicable to this implement and their calibration status. Select the application control tab, then press the channel you want to calibrate and select calibrate. You will now be in the field IQ drive calibration page. Depending on the location you are calibrating, you will need to enter in a minimum and maximum value. If you do not know these limits of your drive, you can leave these settings at zero and the maximum achievable rate will be self-populated at the end of the calibration process. Press the next button to enter the auto calibration page. To begin the auto calibration process, simply turn on the master switch either using the soft screen switch or a master switch box. Your drive will now start to run itself through an auto calibration process learning the valve behaviour. This auto calibration process is only available for PWM and servo style controls. It is not possible to do an auto calibration on a drive that is a ground drive or an anhydrous system. For these types of drives, you will need to use the next arrow and skip this process. By default, a ground drive clutch or pump arming switch will be in the off position. If you are needing to enable it, you can use the on screen soft button here. Once the auto calibration process has been complete, turn off your master switch and use the next arrow to continue to the next page to verify your settings. In the drive settings tab, the proportional gain minimum response and allowable error are all self-populated from the calibration process. To verify the drive performance and response to achieve and maintain target rate, enter in a simulation speed and a target rate. Turn the master switch on and observe the applied rate value. The applied rate value should represent your target rate. Adjust either your speed or rate and observe how quickly or slowly the system reacts to achieve the new target rate. You can manually adjust the settings to achieve a quicker on target rate or limit any hunting that the valve may be experiencing to maintain rate. Proportional gain can be described as the speed in which the valve or drive reacts to achieve target rate. A gain setting too low may mean the system takes too long to achieve the target rate due to change in speed or a change in target rate, whereas a value too high may mean that the valve or drive overshoots the target rate causing the valve to hunt. The allowable error is the percentage of target rate the system can be off before any adjustment is attempted. For example, an allowable error of 3% of a target rate of 100 litres a hectare will mean that if the actual rate was 97 or 103 litres per hectare, no system adjustment would be applied to try and correct to 100 litres per hectare. Minimum response is the percentage of minimum voltage or PWM used to make a rate adjustment to the drive. A minimum response value that is too high can also lead to overshooting the target rate when small adjustments are required. A minimum response value too low may mean that the drive or valve does not respond to small changes. If calibrating a PWM drive, you will also have the minimum position. Minimum position is referring to the PWM percentage required before the movement or a change is seen in the drive. Boost feed forward enabled will mean that the minimum response value will be overridden with a larger value in order to assist in getting the drive to move from a stationary position. This setting is typically used for an electric motor type drive. 
An important thing to remember with the drive calibration is that it is calibrated for a specific gear ratio that you may be running on your implement. If you are running an implement where you change the gear ratios to achieve a higher or lower RPM, it is recommended to duplicate a copy of your implement and specify the ratio for each. Then perform a drive calibration, creating several different implements with different gear ratios and the drive settings. The advanced settings should not be used unless specified by a qualified technician. Once you are happy with your drive's performance to achieve and maintain target rate, press the next button to see your drive information. The drive information will display a minimum and maximum speed that is achievable for your target rates. The maximum is based off the maximum flow or RPM during the drive calibration and the minimum value is obtained either from the minimum value set in the drive calibration or the predefined value in the drive setup earlier. Once the drive calibration is complete, use the check mark to save your settings. Repeat this process for any other drives on your implement. Once all drives are calibrated, use the arrow forward to the calibration summaries page. If all drives and sensors are calibrated correctly, press the check mark to save these settings. You can view diagnostic status of your drive at any time by accessing Diagnostics, Field IQ Performance and looking under the Operations tab. In the Operations tab, you can specify which channel it is that you want to look at by selecting the appropriate channel here. System controls will be displayed here and will vary depending on your implement configuration. Application controls will be displayed here and again will vary depending on your implement setup. To perform some diagnostics while stationary, you can enter in a simulated speed and turn your master switch on. By default, all sections will be off until you individually turn one on or select the All Sections button.